Good day everyone, Alice here from Safi Financial Network. In this video I'm just showing uh, how I find a setup to trade and, and how uh, do I um, analyze the, tr uh, the chart and before my trade and when I trigger the trade, uh, what type of setup I'm looking for. This is uh, a question from one of my uh, follower, Jamie, and uh, I'm sure you have got uh, the other uh, people over there that uh, you have got the same question. So I just uh, wanted to show you exactly in this video um, one of the, one of the last one. Actually, this is the last trade that I set up here. Is uh, here is my channel, which is free for everyone. Everyone can uh, go to the Telegram platform and they can just sign into my channel join and uh, enjoy the trades here's the last one which is june 16 just uh, yesterday okay so yesterday at 9 24 a.m um uh this is pst time pacific time by the way so 9 24 p.m i just uh, go long nasdaq in one hour time frame entry is uh 1000 <coughs> oh, sorry 11123 and these are the targets and the stop loss is here for sure. We have pay attention to the risk management and uh, good luck. So we just sent out this trade and uh, here's the update. As you see here, I'm showing you the update as well. Here's the first target. So first target hit hit our, um, I think it was like a, just a 10, 12 at night. Sorry. So 10, 12 at night first target and this is a second target by the way second target just hit today um, it goes all the way up to above uh, 350 which was uh, this is 360 but it goes all the way up 350 was our second target and as you see here when just pressed uh, stretched out a little bit rejected back and uh, today we just uh, have a fantastic day second target hit so how I do I find lots of these winning trades actually as you know the winning trades that i'm doing in my channel and it is free for everyone is a lot like the number of trades that are going uh, to make money is uh, is way more way more i should say i didn't count it to be honest uh, just because i'm not going to commercialize this stuff but uh, the number of the winning trades that i'm taking is way more than the number of losing trades that's how we make money this is NASDAQ. So how I did find out that trade. This is NASDAQ weekly chart. So first of all, I look at weekly chart, see if there is any potential setup for trade. And I'm just quickly look at it. I'm looking for long trade for NASDAQ in this area. Why? Because this is a nice consolidation institutional level. And here is another one institutional level that I'm just looking for. And this is SMA 200. On weekly basis so whenever we are hitting these levels these type of levels as you see here there are lots of shadows before and there are lots of shadows here so for sure there is going to be a setup here as well especially when we have ugly week so there is going to be retracement to the upside and the last trade that I show you was on Thursday so I just uh, sent it out on Thursday uh, morning and we just finished it in one day just one day so it's supposed to be a quick trade in a smaller time frame not weekly but in weekly chart i'm just looking at here is the nice consolidation so i'm expecting price is kind of reversing from this area i don't know where price is going i don't know if it goes to all the way up to the upside i don't know if it goes to here or are coming down but for that specific trade i'm looking for a tracement for 500 point that's it 500 units are going to be fantastic for me it's going to be make a lot of money so this is weekly chart so i'm looking for a reversal in weekly chart okay so when i go to daily chart just going smaller a little bit and here's the level that i want to show you so this is uh, this is a pretty pretty simple stuff i'm just using very very simple stuff first of all stochastic is showing me a reversal is coming secondly here is uh, um, uh, nice uh, going down to the lower low and this lower low uh, gives me a set of why because there is a divergence in RSI small divergence but still there is a divergence also there is a MACD MACD is a lower low in price MACD is a, a higher low RSI is higher 
a higher low. Stochastic signals for reversal. So indica indicator wise, I'm looking for a reversal, okay? But here is the thing. Just I want to show you here is pretty beautiful setup here. So this is the trend line. Uh, well, um, I don't know if I want to show it here, but in four hour chart is better. So here's the daily and daily I'm looking for reversal happening here. And this is the low. This is the low. I'm just stretching and see there is a nice retracement to this area. Also, if you just have this trend line, connecting these dots together coming down and then stretch it out you see how they crossing over each other so this is a nice uh, support area diagonal wise this is the wedge and this wedge uh, triangles just crossing over here in weekly chart which is very very nice area for this pivot so I'm looking for reversal in weekly chart. Here's the daily coming down to this reversal. You see, just two lines. But you need to read. Uh, you need to know how to read the chart. Okay, I'm not showing any Fibonacci, something like that. But if you want to go a Fibonacci for sure, I'm going to show you. Here's the low. Uh, sorry, here's the high, and here's the low. And look at that, 50% Fibonacci, just coming along. This is extension by Levé coming along here so this is fantastic again support area which is confirming our buying level as well all right so that is a daily so okay still it is not my setup for time frame this is not a good time frame this is just a confirmation again weekly daily and now i'm coming to the four hours that is tempting for me why because this is a trend line higher high lower uh, sorry high lower high lower high this is a nice breakout to the upside and then price is coming back down we are just coming here and yesterday price is coming back down there and here's the fib level here's the high here's the low low from the reversal and this is a 78 percent fibonacci extension which is very very important anything between 61 to 78 percent especially 69 that is going to be very very fantastic reversal level for me so uh, 61 just reacted once going up and then stretching down this is a very very sharp sell off for sure when you see this even you don't need to look at indicators but i'm telling you this is a nice divergence here's the low here's the low you're going to the look at that so here's the nice divergence okay so this is a nice divergence stochastic wise we are oversold condition Bull reversal in divergence, RSI bull reversal divergence, MACD fantastic divergence. Look at that. This is oversold. This is just, the, I think it doesn't even go to the oversold condition. It's just coming down and then spiking back up again. So this is a nice setup for me. I'm just looking for a reversal. And now this is my trading setup. So I was looking at all of those as well. So when I see this, when I see this yesterday, I just trigger buying level here. Exactly at this candle. So look at where we entered. I'm just bringing out here. 11,123. So this is the level that we enter here in this candle. When I saw this nice reversal happening after this low and sloping up MACD, sloping up our side told me that okay buying setup is forming and probably it's worse to have it i just put my stop loss at 11,000, and look what happened price just going all the way up to here and we just hit our second target today as is so <clears throat> and look at this pink box and this pink box going all the way up back there why I show this ping bus? Because I was waiting for reversal in this area. I just, I, I can't remember all the levels in different time frames. There are tons of stocks, indexes that I couldn't remember. But I can't just put uh, like whatever um, indicator or box, rectangular, I don't know. Whatever works for you, any, any different color that works for you for different uh, signals, just mark it on your chart and make sure that uh, you um, recognize it. When, when you just open up the chart, this is our chart and notice that, okay, here's the buying level. I just put this box for a reason and it comes to my level. You see, 
this is a fantastic um, crossover uh, um, with, with along with divergence so that's why I trigger spy setup still I'm looking for more upside to be honest for Nasdaq especially going all the way up to here so 11 uh, thousand uh, five hundred six hundred that would be a um, good setup um, to uh, to take the profit and close the position hundred percent what happened after that I'm gonna tell you in weekly analysis video which is coming shortly but here is just a quick um, a video for how to uh, find out a trading setup based on the time frame and based on the price action see you on the chart have a good one bye bye